Recently, my good friend, longtime friend actually, Robert Freeland visited our office in San Antonio and gave us a view, his views of the world. And he's a global citizen and traveler, and he's concerned about production of copper, uh, global economic growth. We've said before that when we talk we're written about global PMIs, personally manufacturers index, when they're positive, the one month's above the three months. Uh, the longer that happens, the stronger the demand for copper prices and oil prices. And guess what? We're seeing oil surge and we're seeing copper surge. But something's different. When it comes to new electrical vehicles, you need copper, uh, which is great news since the huge emerging markets in Asia are pushing for clean energy. Well, if you want clean en energy, in China in particular, you need lots of copper. Uh, and there's been no major discoveries made. It takes a long time to bring that supply on side. But every day it's growing and it's growing more rapidly with the GDPs of the world as a backdrop, but the PMIs remain positive. Aluminum, cobalt, nickel and platinum will also benefit from the demand for electric cars. And Robert Freeland said you'll need a telescope to see where copper prices will be in 2021. For a full story on copper's huge demand, check out my Frank Talk blog. We'll be following the price action for you. Stay tuned next week for another Frank Talk Live.